Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to another episode of Minecraft Bewitchment. Here with me, Kit. So, uh, I made this. <laughs> I made, I made this. I put the, uh, the smelly sigil in here. I'm wondering if I can spawn some more zombie villagers in here. Uh, but not before I create a lockable door for this room because, uh, well, for obvious reasons. I would like a lockable door for the, uh, the room of doom. The lockable room of doom. You know, that classic, uh, <laughs> witchery thing that you always end up doing if you become a vampire. Uh, spoilers? No. <laughs> I mean, yes, actually, in the end, that is a spoiler, but, uh, we'll be doing lycanthropy first. Anyway, uh, let's make a lockable door. Uh, what? What, 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 introduction, here we go. Uh, is it, no, it is Juniper, isn't it? Maybe it's Elder. Yes, it is Elder, okay, uh, so we need, we need to make an Elder door. Alright, here we go. An Elder door, we can most certainly do that. Uh, Elder log? Yep, good. Um, here we go. So we'll take our little uh, planks and we'll make us an elder door. And I believe we need, you guessed it, a silver ingot to lock it. Uh, and we'll see if we can spawn some zombie villagers. Kind of. I mean, we're going to get a lot of rubbish in there. Uh, is that going to... Is that, is this, is this, how does that work? What, what just happened? Ah! Did, do I get a key from that? Or, hello? I'm not quite sure what just happened. Because I, I thought it would be, I thought I would get a key. But I didn't get a key. I just, hello? Okay. Um, can be locked using a silver ingot. Locked blocks can be given tag locks. This can be totally sneaky. Alright, well, in which case, can I check? I'm a bit confused, but okay. Uh, I hope that room is dark enough. Actually, but um, I guess we'll find out. All right. Okay, so I, uh, between episodes, I mass produced a bunch of sigils, a bunch of judgment sigils, because I want to actually. Oh, uh, because I want to experiment with dragon's blood, uh, dragon's blood pressure plates to try and set a trap for demons. I don't know if it's going to work the way that I think it's going to work, but I think it'll be a laugh to try and find out. So, uh, and when I say a bunch of pressure plates, I mean a bunch of pressure plates. So, let's see what happens here. Um, dragon's blood trees. And can be given active sigils. Okay, so here's, here's my idea. It's real crude. It's very crude, um, and I really just don't know if it's going to work the way that I think it's going to work. Um, what if I, okay, so I've got seven, it's not really going to be enough actually, but what if I do this? It's, hopefully the sigil doesn't affect him because he's not... You know, he's not an unholy being. Not yet, at least. Um, so let's grab some more dragon's blood. Uh, dragon's blood wood. Look at this beautiful red colour. I need to build with this, is what I need. Um, you know what, let's make a few more, because I, I feel like this is going to be very useful. So... Here we go. So how, 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 how? Mm, 
Mm, I feel like I should test this outside. I'm gonna test this. I'm gonna test this a little bit differently. What's uh, an active sigil that we can craft and test? Um, all harmful potion effect. That's very easy to test, actually, because we can grab a splash potion of weakness. Uh, what is it cleansing? So birch bark and garlic. Uh, we need our paper. We need our dragon's blood. And we need some birch bark. And what was that? Was it garlic? Yes. Excellent. Um, oh my goodness, everything is everywhere. Which one? Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. Here we go. Alright, let's make some of these. Paper. Dragon's blood. Uh, garlic and birch bark. Perfect. So let's... On proportion effects. Yes, okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's uh, find a spot to test this. I think we'll go up into the far reaches of our territory. I think this will do here. Alright, so if I put that there, and if I actually just get rid of that, make sure we've got the correct. Yep, okay, this is correct. If I then put. Can I. Hello? Can I put. No, I can't. Do I craft it with it, perhaps? Let's. Let's try that. How about that? How about that? No. Okay. How, 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 how. How? Um, can be given active sigils. Okay, hold on. They need to be placed on, placed on usable blocks or brooms. Uh, so. That's not going to work for me. Oh, it did. It did. It did. It did something. Okay, so now if I... Uh, if I... Nail myself. We've got weakness. Here we go. And now if I... If I press that... Aha! It's gone. Okay, yes. It does work like that. Excellent. Alright. That's exactly what we want. That is precisely what we want. And I've come the stupid way. Uh, that's excellent. That's perfect. I'm so excited. Alright, so... But we don't want this villager just bloody wasting. I'm, I'll fence him in. I'll do the classic. Fence the villager in. Trick. Uh, we'll do that. And I think we'll also need... I've just, had, I've just got so much stuff. I really need to create like a garbage disposal. Good old fashioned uh, incinerator style, you know. Um, Alright, I'm just going to... Just pardon me while I throw tree saplings over my fence. Uh, that will do. Bye. Okay. No! Oh, annoying. Alrighty. Uh, we are going to trap you in place, sir. So that you don't create... Oh, great. I didn't mean to do that. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. No. I am... I've had enough of villagers. I tell you what. I am so done with villagers in this playthrough. Absolutely finished with them. No, this, this isn't going to work the way I think it's going to work, is it? No, it's not. I 
is most certainly not. Um... Yeah, see, I don't want you doing that before we're ready for you, mate. Just... Can you just stand still? Just stand there for me, hey? Ha! Oh, gotcha! <laughs> That's gonna be no good for the ritual, but... You know what? Uh, let's do... Let's do it like this. Let's have this. That's good. And now I can actually draw underneath you. And yes, perfect. Excellent. That's exactly what I want. All right. Um, let's add these judgment sigils. I'm just hoping that the demon doesn't actually spawn where the villager spawns. I'm pretty sure mm. anyway I think that's it I think we're done now the reason we are doing yet another demon summoning is uh, because we are going to become a werewolf we're going to do the curse of susceptibility which I believe requires um, Da -da 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 -dum, a demon heart. Look at that. So, here we go. Um, we need Mandrake Veiled on. That's fine. Um, let's go back to the ritual for summoning a demon because I always forget this no matter how many times I do it. It needs a diamond, a snake tongue, a demon horn, a heart belladonna. And it needs a double red circle. We are never making that mistake ever, 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 ever again. All right, it looks like I'm out of snake tongue again. Bummer. Um, no, that's not right. What? Oh my goodness. Come on, organize your thoughts, hey? Uh, let's put these sigils away. Yes. Yep, that's right. Snake tongue, double red circle, oh, belladonna, and aconite. And also a diamond. And a snake tongue. And a sacrifice. An infernal sacrifice. Alright. Um, let's. I'm doing the circle now because I don't want to forget. Because these things be like they do. You know... Cl that classic... You know, just, just witch things. When you draw the wrong colour of circle in your demon summoning ritual. Um... Blah blah blah. What the heck am I doing? A snake tongue. Ugh. That means I have to go looking for a snake. Ah, what a lava. Um, I'll put this brazier here. Um, put this fence back. That back. Uh, I'm gonna put the stuff in the box. And then, we are going to go snake hunting. Let's do it. Yeah, I'm just going to have a bit of a squeeze at the, the various mobs that are around. I have seen snakes uh, in the area. It's actually easier to get snake tongues from hellhounds, uh, as a matter of fact. Hmm. The thing that's annoying about the broom is that you can't look down <laughs> without going down. 
you know? Alright, folks, I'm gonna have a bit of a look around and I will be right with you as soon as I spot a snake. Alright, well, I'm, I am I couldn't find a snake and it's getting dark. So, <laughs> so, ooh, oh, I did not mean to do that. What, what am I, <laughs> no, <laughs> what am I meant to do with that? Alright, I think. Do I have to shoot it down? Do I have to shoot down? Do I have to shoot down my own? Oh my god. This is ridiculous. Can I climb up the tree maybe? Come on dude. Oh, you're kidding me. Of all the things I expected to happen this episode, that was certainly not one of them. Alright. Oh. Oh, that was actually pretty straightforward. Cool. Thanks. Alright, well, note to self, don't dismount the bow in midair. Um, what the heck was I doing? We were doing... Oh, that's right. We are getting snake tongues. So, I guess I'll just pop into the nether, I suppose. I'm just going to pop into hell to grab the tongue of a hellhound. Um, but this time I'll not be taking my broom because... You know... What? Will you behave, please? Goodness me. Um... No, I need to make another iron sword. Oh, everything happens so much! Okay, here we go. Iron sword. Done. Alright. No, no, no. No, no. Alright. Alright, where are the puppy dogs? Here we go, puppy dogs. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. This is good, this is good, this is going well. This is not so bad. She says, will you please die, sir? Come on. Come on. Oh, that was a little bit touch and go. Alright, so I've got regen on the nether rack. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no tongues. You've got to be kidding me. You're absolutely kidding me. Okay. Well. Where are my tongues? Look, will you guys just stop? Just stop decimating the landscape. Um Did I do that? Hmm. I really don't want to be in the nether for long. It really has not boded well for me in the past. I'm really not about it, folks. So if we could just oblige and just, just give me your tongues. Come on. Now I can't find any hellhounds. I can't believe it. I spent, like, I spent the sum total of my first, like, three visits to the nether avoiding hellhounds, you know? There we go, there's a tongue. Alright, we're going. We're leaving. 
We are leaving. Because I'm not having it. Cat, that's not a great spot for you, my friend. Uh, let's have some pie. And um, I left all my stuff in the thingy, didn't I? Yes, I did. Uh, now I'm all out of sorts. All out of sorts. Okay. We've got pretty much everything we need to summon a demon. And uh, so I'm going to do the old uh, fire resistance, strength, and absorption. I don't think I'll buy a contract this time because I don't really need one. I'm actually just, I'm here for the heart. Like, I'm here for the demon heart. So, yeah. I guess we'll just give it a red hot crack. Um, hmm, everything's a bit weird. Alright, so we've got the snake tongue. That's fine. Me armor is looking a little bit. I'm going to take the Zephyr harness off. And where is my... There we go. I'm going to take that off too because... Because reasons. Uh, yep, yeah, Zephyr harness. Where's your knockback resistance although like that's pretty that's pretty specky uh okay so i think that's it i think that's it let's see how we go oh don't step on the pressure plate Okay, let's do it. Let's make it happen. So we've got... If I put an item on a pressure plate, is it going to activate? Because I don't, I don't want that. Ugh. Let's call that a day. Alright. I think that's correct. Double circle. 666. Snake tongue, demon horn. Diamond. Da -da -da, ba -da -da, and a villager sacrifice. Yep, that's it. Let's do it. Here we go. Oh, come on. Here we go. Oh, come on. Oh, now I can't reach him! Serves me right. Come on. Miss me. There we go. Alright. Uh, now there's every possibility. <laughs> the moment he steps on those pressure plates, he's gonna be angry. <laughs> what have you got for me? Envy, famine, and greed. Ah, uh, I mean, I could, I could, I could, I could, I could. Envy, steal the villagers' trades. I. Ooh. Did that work? I heard you set that off, dude. What's with that? I did work, but it but not much. <laughs> 92 out of 100. Okay, that's a bit odd. Um death pestilence. And we got any greed, lush pride, sauce breath. Dude, you're an idiot. <laughs> Just, just like, just keep stepping on them. Um, wait on, what does greed do again? All the smelt and drop twice the amount of what they would normally drop. He's also got famine. Damage taken is reduced the hungrier you are. Eh. No, you know what? I just want this guy's heart. I just, I just... I just want I just want your heart, man. Like <laughs> Um, alright, let's potion up. And let's do it. Here we go. Alright. 
Fantastic. We got our demon heart. Um, yep, wasn't interested in the contract that time, so that's that's fine. Okay, cool. So those, yeah, dragon's blood pressure plates. That's the way to go, folks. Um, I'm just gonna clean this up while I'm here because I can't stand looking at this. It's ceiling dirt. What have I got here? Fire res. Oh, that's just me. Me patience. Um, we'll take that back again and we'll put it on. We'll put it put on our little anklet. Um, let's check on the smelly. Ah, oh, dude, you're a weirdo. You're an absolute weirdo. Uh, still nothing in there. Okay. What ifs? All right. So we are going to get our Hearn on. We are going to summon Hearn. So okay, so in the next episode I will be summoning Hearn. So I'm going to need to prepare for that actually. Um, oh, stop that. Come on. Her. Her for Hearn. Um, Hearn the Huntsman. Uh, a figure. He's a figure from English folklore. I actually know a little bit about this dude. He looks fantastic. This model. This is the stuff of dreams. Like, that's incredible. Um, the Lord of the Wild Hunt. Yeah. <laughs> is commonly pledged to by suffering lycanthropes. He can grant almost total control over the curse. Oh, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so... What we actually want is to do the curse of lycanthropy. That's our next port of call. So lycanthropy is contracted by another werewolf. Uh, you must still somehow survive though. Uh, so I need a death protection puppet in actual fact. So that's, that'll be the first step. So yes, we'll need a death protection puppet. Um, a demon heart, what a surprise. A gas tear and dried kelp. We need it. There's no two there's no two ways about it. Uh where's me gas tears? And me kelp. And me hay bale. And I've got a demon heart already on me, and I need some vines as well. Perfect. Let's do this. Here we go. That, 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 and that. Thank you. And we're going to get our um, tag lock. That's grand. And put that together and put it on our shelf. Oh, look at that. There's me. Me figurines. Me poppet shelf. Anyway. Uh, all right, so we've got our death protection puppet. What's next? We're gonna have to do the curse of susceptibility. So, okay, hold on. Wait, let's have a look at this again. From another werewolf. They roam Forest, tiger, and icy biomes on full moons. They are heavily weak to smite. Fascinating. Okay, so that's a lot to think about between now and next episode. Let's have a look and see if we can do any preps. Any preps. Any preps for the Curse of Susceptibility. Alright, so we need a demon heart. You know, I suspect we actually have a spare demon heart knocking about somewhere. Otherwise... I might summon one between episodes because you guys have probably seen enough demon summonings by now. Uh, it's all a little bit uh, Steve Rhodes at this point. So. No, I don't seem to have a spare demon heart. I must have used it. I just must have used it. That's fine. Alright, so. Next episode, Curse of Susceptibility and we will be going werewolf hunting. So thanks for joining me once again. I'll see you next time. Cheers.